They're gone. Huh? Uh? Wasn't the council right here? Where do they go? I wanted to talk to them about the tournament. <laughs> the council is always watching. Ah! <laughs> You've come to the right place. As secretary of the student council, I am the keeper of all school knowledge. However, I first have a question for you. Do you really care about our school's heart? Or are you just trying to get yourself out of a bad situation? It's not... I... I mean, it's not just that. I, I do care about this school. Don't you think this tournament is bad for everyone? We're both trying to help Wintermore. Then prove it. I will ask you a series of questions about our institution, and you'll receive information only upon answering them all to my satisfaction. Let me know when you have prepared yourself. Oh, do we need to go to the library to figure this out? Or time powers. Hmm. Let us get started with a simple question. What is the name of our illustrious principal, Robert Enfield? Gary Gygax, Prince <laughs> Apal. Who's it McFace? Something you no doubt committed to heart on your first day here. I'd worry if you got that wrong. Next question, a statue stands majestically in the center of the quad. Who does it depict? It's, uh, yeah, Gentle Roy Wintmore. Finally, a very important question. Can I trust you? More specifically, the slovenly, disobedient one on your team, Jacob. What would you say is his greatest weakness? Uh... Well, he doesn't follow the rules. He... Does he lack... Political, does he lack consistency with his political views? He's, no, he's pretty, pretty staunch. I don't know about potato chips, but he is always doing crimes. Or is that his weakness? Is that his weakness? No, maybe his weakness would be potato chips. His wander cheats uh, blatantly with a dev in chat. I will always cheat. Doesn't matter who's in chat. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me. <laughs> I'm always doing crimes. Excellent. I admire someone who puts their ambitions before their friends. Huh? But what? Uh, that's not what I'm doing at all. I just thought that that was pretty common knowledge. Tell yourself what you will. You have passed, and the student council always fulfills its promises. I have calculated that it would benefit the school to share the following information. One week ago, Principal Enfield asked us to help him find the ultimate club. We spent several days doing exhaustive and often clandestine research and put together a very detailed report. But when we showed it to him, he flew into a rage. He kept babbling about how our chosen club wouldn't be strong enough and how we didn't understand true spirit. He locked himself in his office and wouldn't come out. When he finally emerged the next day, he was calm again and had plans for this tournament. He even demanded that the student council participate as well. We presented an airtight case that it would, that it would active, actively harm the school, but he refused to listen. What's so important about the ultimate club? Rest assured that we are investigating the truth behind this madness. In the meantime, I suggest you focus on winning. Thanks for the info. Uh, um, I'll let you know if we find anything out. I'll know. Well then. So at the very beginning they talked about saving the school and so is this is there something more nefarious afoot? 
be interesting Principal to find out. Principal is a dickbag. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about some... Oh, wait. Armando? Oh, hey. You're in the student council, right? Um, I was hoping you could tell me if there's a way to get our club out of this tournament. I guess I'll have to talk to someone else. It's a notice board. There's a job flyer here. For sneaking Gumshoe. Gumshoe for hire. Budding private investigator seeks assistant for work as secretary and gal guy Friday. Mostly desk work and CD photo organization. But you never know when danger's lurking in a smoke filled alley that puts your lights. Wait, out your lights with a 10 pound bowling ball? Uh, but you never know when danger's lurking in a smoke-filled alley to put your lights out with a ten-pound bowling ball. You know, knock you out. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. The cash is cold. The streets tough, just like us. Well, that sounds dangerous or boring, or it's hard to tell. But I guess it's something Isabella could do. She does have experience kickboxing. Oh, is she sad now that the monarchist has been disbanded? <laughs> Please don't talk to me. I'm very busy staring wistfully off in the middle, into the middle distance to convey my ennui. Oh, is that from like a hiking club or something? Jeff wrote. He looks like he's out of the Civil War. Oh, this is more of the historical reenactment yeah. club stuff. I want to write a good old-fashioned letter home about the snowball war, but I don't have any period-appropriate quill pens. The theater kids are nice. They let us borrow costumes for reenactments all the time. Do you ever wear any other outfits besides that caveman one? There are lots of things from caveman times that need reenacting. <laughs> Where does this go? Aha! Ah, I see you found my secret backstage sanctum. Oh, look at all those costumes. So we have dinosaur, alligator, or dragon. Then there's a uniform, like a, an old cavalry uniform. Robot box. King's cape. I like cape. to put on the dinosaur costume and pretend people care about my existence. Uh... <laughs> But I only do it in the dark just in case somebody comes in. That way I just fall limp on the ground and pretend I'm always there. I thought we already checked the library. Mm, is there a notice board? No. There's a notice board in your dorm. Yeah. I just don't know. Uh, There might be one in the classrooms. Yeah, it actually is even marked on the map. That's convenient. Oh, the, there's the notice board right there. It's a notice board. There's a job flyer here. Are you sick of the noisy grind of daily work and traffic? Do you want to visit strange new locales and meet colorful characters? Do you like to work with your hands? And you, too, can find a job in sewer maintenance. <laughs> no experience required, but enthusiasm preferred. I don't know if that would be my first choice, but I guess some people must like it. Maybe Isabella would. You will regret ever working here, but the pay is good. And by good, I mean bare minimum wage. No one pays anything around here. It's too damn cold and no one cares. Oh, Alistair, I, I'm sorry about your club. Uh... Oh, Alicia, I bear you no ill will for your victory in the snowball tournament. A dialectical conflict is how society must progress. History will prove that the monarchists are the true victors. Plus, now that the students are no longer allowed to have our pamphlets, they've become much more popular. Oh, well, I, I'm glad things that kind of worked out. Oh. Oh, uh huh? Oh. oh, hi, Alicia. I didn't see you there. Everything okay? Oh, yeah, sir. I was just lost in thought. What's up? 
I can't take the feeling that my pranks are getting stale, you know? I need to think of other pranks, but it just can't be any prank. I need to find the ultimate prank! <laughs> oh, that, that sounds, uh, fun? Oh, it will be totally great once I think of it. Ah, uh, so you have, like, writer's block. Exactly. Although in my field, we call it clown downtime. Oh, wait, does she, is she a clown? I suppose I she do doesn't- do not see the giant oversized- I do see the bow. But, huh. If only I could find inspiration in these dreary workaday halls. Say, do you know anyone who has passionate about pranks? I might be able to find someone. Yep, there's another job flyer. Oh, I I know who probably posted this. Dog groomer. Need a cheerful, dog-friendly individual who is willing to get their hands dirty washing and drying adorable pups. Entry level. The actual stylist will do the haircuts for now. But you get on-the-job training in an amazing field. It's a spectacular opportunity. Now, that seems like something Isabella could do. That's three different job options. Hopefully this should be enough for Isabella. I think I'm ready to show her these flyers. Oh man, did you see the game yesterday? Our team totally crushed it. Can you believe it? Kelly asked me to help her with a prank. How delightfully quaint. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. That's the incredibly intimidating student council president, Septavia. She, uh, looks busy. Maybe I shouldn't bother her. She also looks well-armed. <laughs> hey, nerd, don't go getting a big head just because you beat us. The only ones who have big heads are kings and queens and stuff because they have to, they have to hold up the crown. That's not really how any of that works. <sighs> so yeah, let's return to Isabella. <sighs> Give her those job offerings. Wait, where? Oh yeah, she's in the ice skating rink, isn't she? You have to go down to the quad and then walk out. Yeah, I know. I was just looking at the symbols. Mm -hmm. I am... I'm not going to say I'm fading fast, but I'm pretty tired, so it's taking me a little bit to process what's going on. So, what did you find? Well, there were a few flyers around the place, but I don't know if... Whoa, three flyers? Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. That, it's too much pressure to decide. Can you just... Pick one for me. Which job do you think is most like kickboxing? <laughs> yeah. You want to do the the private detective? Yeah, assistant? I mean. Yeah. Dark alleys. You, you're not gonna kickbox dogs. Oh no. Or no, no, poop. No. <laughs> it might not be like in the movies, but a private detective's assistant still sounds mostly likely to involve fighting some goons. This description says it's all about paperwork, though. Handwriting is not like kickboxing. I can tell you that. It's probably safer, at least. Uh, you're right. This job is the safe choice. If I can't take it, then some mugs busted into the office. I always regret it, you know? That sounds perfect. Thank you, Alicia. Oh, man. Leo will be so happy. I'm gonna call him tonight and tell him. You're welcome. I, I hope it works out for you. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. Faraday's cape. Spark gains friend focus. Okay, it can chain through allies but will not damage them. Ooh, uh -huh. isn't that a cool ability? Great mages know that sometimes a spell is about what you don't blow up. Thanks again. Oh, I almost forgot. 
I should update my character sheet. I've gotten some great ideas for new powers, but first I need to equip them. You got an upgrade! I see, so we only get six. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So I think for the side quest, we probably also want to go back and probably do Jacob. Wait, well, we have to talk with him anyway about the council, right? Because he was just wanting to know if there were any rules that we could bypass. Wait, who's in the admin building? Armando. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I think it's Jacob again. I'll save just in case. And that way, if it is a problem, we can just bail. Hey, Jacob. Mind helping me out with a quick favor? Sure, what's up? There's this girl on campus who wants some inspiration for a prank. I thought you might be able to help. Clown downtime, huh? I feel her pain. Got a few techniques that might help. Just tell me when and where. Okay, so we go back to her. She's just outside. So, heard you were having some trouble coming up with a prank. It's just so hard to find an entire classroom's worth of livestock, you know? I hear that. Usually birds are easy to get. And they can make a lot of noise and ruckus compared to their size. Birds, huh? Oh, I have it! A great idea! Oh my god, Alicia! Huh? Help me get a bird. Meet me back here when you've got one. What? But... Go, oh, that's a brilliant idea needs a bird! Where are we... Where are we gonna find a bird? I suppose out in the courtyard. Oh. oh no! Oh hey! A bird. That poor little victim. Just wait. Okay. Slowly. Slowly. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that was never gonna happen. Wait a minute. Is it flying back towards the classroom building? <gasps> uh oh! Is it just gonna fly into the classroom? Yep. Whoa! Ah! What is this bird doing in here? Someone catch it! Get it out of here! Ah! Uh, oops! Hey, Kelly! Was that... Helpful? I don't know if I really cut out for bird catching. Nothing! Did you see it, Alicia? The beauty! The chaos! So inspiring! I'm just brimming with the new prank ideas. Uh, you turned my clown downtime frown upside. Clown down? Anyway, as someone who really appreciates the truly hard work that we pranksters go through for our art, I want you to have this electric handshake. This could tax deal extra damage to unhurt enemies. Thanks. I'm just glad I ended up being able to help. So are we going to talk with, yeah, Jacob first? Oh, uh-oh. It's okay. Now, did you talk about the crimes or the chips? Crimes. Ah. Uh, sorry, but I... I had to reveal your weakness to Victoria to let her talk. Or to get her to talk. Oh, so you told her about my bee sting allergy. Wait, what? You never told me you had a bee sting allergy. I don't. I just pretend I do to throw off the government. <laughs> I don't think you cared. Okay, so what's your big plan? I've been thinking about our strengths as a club. Or the tactics club, right? So first of all, 
I think the most valuable thing we can do is come up with strategies to maximize our tactic. Uh, tacticality. Tacticality in combat. So, like, sweet power moves. Yeah, sweet power moves. That sounds suspiciously like it might involve physical exercise. Not necessarily. I think we can all work it out on the CNC board. See, I found some special combat abilities in CNC that we can apply to our snowball fights. We call them tactics powers. I think I get it. You want us to treat our strategies on the snowball field like CNC abilities. We might not have magic in real life, but we've got tactic powers in our on our side, right? Exactly. Here, check this out. Uh, let's see, wrong one. Why does he have so many extra... Abilities and stuff? Or no, he doesn't. It's just... I see. There's attack and tactics. Mm -hmm. So she's got three attack, three tactics. He's got four attack. And only a bit of tactics. Cave of Destiny. Birth of Brilliance. Okay. When we last left our heroes... Anjaya had just gotten back the amulet of Amara, and as soon as you touch it again, Anjaya, you're visited by a vision telling you to go to the Cave of Destiny, where your tactics power will be revealed. Wow, that sounds like a pretty epic adventure. Will we have to cross Whispering Mountain, the Whispering Mountains, or the Tormented Swamp? Normally, but that's not the relevant part, so we'll just say you walked to the cave without further incident. So what does getting tactics powers look like? You open a box and there's powers inside, or what? Far from it. You must spend a full week in deep meditation, commuting with the magics of the cave. Whoa, hope no bad guys invade the cave while we're doing that. <laughs> He's gonna find out. That's oh. exactly what happens. A scouting party of the army of Count Malgiferous has arrived at this cave. Not again. Oh, but it's okay. See, Jaya finished her meditation early due to her magical intellect. Everyone else is locked in meditation. And Jai, it's up to you to protect the party with your new tactics power. Brilliant Re beam. I. Ah, so it costs five tactics points per use, and long cooldown. Line of attack, yeah. Oh, what was the spells? We can probably look at it. Ah. And Jaya, your tactics power is brilliant beam. It's much more powerful than your normal attack and hits every enemy in line. Okay, here it goes. I cast brilliant beam. There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh. Though rays and bolts have their advocates, the Archmage Commission agrees that beams display true magical superiority. Is that not sufficient enough? There we go. I just, uh, it's a little weird sometimes, uh, getting the cursor around. So tactics points are the things in the top right. Got it. Mm hmm. Well, those three are in a line. I cast Brilliant Beam again! Sorry, but Tactics Pirates take a full round to recharge. Ah, I, I guess that makes sense. We'll need some time to recover after spending that extra effort. Are you sure you want to move over when everyone's already starting to get in line to go through that... I want to hit these guys. Oh, you're just hitting them with spark, though. Yep. So it looks like doing that only got me one tactics point. They might get close to you. Yeah. Now you can use the beam, right? I could use the beam. Or you could just spark a lot of them. Hmm. It's just so convenient. And I wouldn't have been able to hit them all anyway. But yeah, they can't hit me. And now... 
I could beam them again. Or I could just repeatedly spark them. Yep. Elixir Syndrome. Tactics power used. Look at that. You were supposed to use it one more time. What? You lost a coin what? because of it. What? Yes, you were uh, you were penalized uh, for refusing uh, to use the skill uh, that we were supposed to practice with. Uh, that's what you get. Uh, you, that's what you elixir get. Elixir syndrome. I I saved my big powers for never. That's what you Because that's how that's it works. You get. This was a tutorial. You're supposed Tutorials to Tutorials are skill. dumb. Con conserve everything. No. Yes. No. Ah. Uh, no. Ah. That was great. If I can do anything like that brilliant beam in a snowball fight, we might have a chance of winning again. Hey, Colin, I know Alicia's better at tactics than I am. Can I get a tactics power too? Definitely. And I'll get one too, of course. As soon as you're ready, I'll unveil them during the next battle. So you could play that again. Oh, I see. It's in leader your order. So you have to use it twice. <laughs> 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 Oops, that spark. What? Wonder, how could you? I forgot to switch the thing. Look, I am really tired. <laughs> really, I've been going for nine hours today. There mm -hmm. is there is a certain point where my brain turns to mush, and we passed that four hours ago. Well. Let him line up. I was right, though. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to get over here and uh, spark these two. Because that one little guy does not line up. Make sure you use the beam. Okay, here's the question. What's the range on the beam? You know, you need to get closer. That's nice. I wonder if there's a way to check the... If I check the logs? No. I was hoping there would be some way for me to specifically check um, what the mission objectives are. Oh, so that you know you need to use it twice? Yeah. Because that sort of thing would actually be quite helpful if there's any bonus objectives. But maybe it just at this point, now I just have to get used to all of those. Oh, oh. it's this dialogue again. So I think we're just doing smoke and hammers. Just as you defeat the party, a rumbling crash is heard from the northeast. Rubble scatters in front of you as an ogre mercenary barges through the wall of the cave. You'll have to fall back. However, Edwald has finished learning his tactics powers and can join in the fight. Stun hammer slam. Cause five, cooldown, burst. Every square within one tile of the targeted square. Days lose one movement, attacks deal less damage. Lawful paladins learn to non lethally subdue their foes by smashing their heads with a great hammer. That sounds pretty lethal. What about my tactics power? Nope, still meditating. Okay, my tactics power is called Stun Hammer Slam. It's a smash so powerful it leaves the enemies dazed. You can use it on the ogre. Wait, what? The ogres have big beards and horns? Big bearded ogres. Don't question it. It makes no freaking sense. <laughs> uh, if I put it there, will it not hit the ogre as well? Huh. I guess it only changed in one direction. Weird. Never seen an ogre with a beard. Yeah, I don't think so either. They're usually kind of just grubbins. 
Maybe it's because they've always been designed like very corpulent goblins and obviously much larger. All right, Rogi is finally awake. He's gained, uh, gained knowledge of a tactics power called Smoke Blight Bomb, a wide range smoke bomb. Oh, cool, smoke bombs. That's easy enough for me to do in real life. All right. Let's show these dorklings what happens when you mess with a ro with Rogespierre Trotsky Guevara. Wow, Rogi's full name makes an appearance. You must be taking this really seriously. Heck yeah, Rogespierre Trotsky Guevara is gonna throw some smoke bombs now. Yeah, can you put it right into the midst of that group? Yep. Woo! What kind of smoke are we talking here? Stink bomb, ink bomb, salt and pepper bomb? Smoke that causes all characters within it to do one less damage when attacking. So let's say all of the above. But I suppose it does damage as well upon explosion. Well, exploding. Interesting. Shock tactics. Another achievement. I don't even know. Ow. That guy has an AOE. I like this particular music right now. That'll hit all. And the change shouldn't hurt your friends. Nope. Have you had him use that final ability again? Can't. Need ah. one more move. Mm hmm. Oh, he's in the smoke. It's okay. Ah, getting him in position. He'll do less damage because of it being in the smoke. Yeah, but I'll skull crack him anyway. Mm-hmm. Was there like a weird map in the back that I... Oh. Yay! Oh, okay. Tactics power minimum. Yeah, so you I had would... to have used it twice. Yep. You were... That's interesting. I wonder if you went five over four, if it would have taken off a point for taking too long. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, see, now we're getting it. Oh, and you defeated the Count's army. Good job, everyone. Now that we all have our tactics powers, we should have a chance to beat those psychic detectives, right? Definitely, but I got one last surprise to tip the odds in our favor. Is this when you reveal you really have an ancient relic that gives us magic powers? Oh, what? Uh, unfortunately, no. But consider, how do superheroes without powers defeat their opponents? By being prepared. We may have our new skills, but we still need to figure out the most effective way to use them against our opponents. Thus, I propose we gather intel on the psychic detectives and work out a plan on how to use it, how we can use it. Spying. Nice. I got lots of distractions we can use for a quick getaway. Some are pretty safe, even. I don't know. Spying doesn't sound like a very heroic thing to do. It's not spying, it's scouting. Heroes have to thoroughly scout goblin forts and other combat encounters unless they want to end up dead. Yeah, besides, they're psychic, right? It's like an unfair advantage. They're not really psychic, Jacob. That's not a real thing. I mean, that's what the government wants you to think. I've played psychonauts. See for yourself, their leader's real spooky. Once I set off a smoke bomb in the boys' bathrooms and she totally knew it was me. Jacob, you do that at least once a month. Everyone knows it's you. Still, she knew it in a spooky way. Okay, okay. Let's just start by finding out what, uh, finding out where they hang out. All right. Yeah, where were they hanging out? It was some kind of creepy. Was it the stadium or somewhere else? Okay. Yeah, that's where they are. But maybe you're supposed to talk with people? Well, we have a side quest here. Again. Uh, 
Oh. To speak with her. That's the incredibly intimidating student council president, Septavia. She, uh, looks busy. No, same thing. Yeah, Weird. it's the same thing. We're su we supposedly have a side quest nearby. Though honestly, like, I might want to stop soon. Okay, that's fine. Just because... We'll I fight am... the detectives. Wait, so... Oh, he's the one with the side quest. Oh, hey, Alicia. I can give you back that book you loaned me. Just let me know when you want it. So, what did you think? I didn't finish it, actually. I appreciate you loaning it to me, but it was... Too much sci- uh, it was much too sci-fi for a fantasy book. It's called Dragon Quest. It has dragons in it! I should have known. Pattern Master and Left Hand of Darkness were too weird. Elric of Melanbo- oh, Melnabone was- wasn't heroic enough. To be fair, you never read the book I suggested. I really tried. It's just a little, uh... Detailed? Detailed, of course it is. It's the mythological primer for the most important fantasy book ever written. Decades of lore and world building went into it. That's what makes it great. Is he talking about the Cimmerillion? Yeah. Probably. It's just... You know, there's all kinds of exciting stuff happening in fantasy, right? You don't have to just read a handful of books by the same guy over and over. But my, why mess with perfect stories? There's a reason why all other fantasy books are derived from the works of one author. A lighthearted adventure, the ultimate hero quest, and a classic creation, myth. What more could you possibly want? Maybe more than two women across the entire set of books? Alicia, that's why I wanted you to read this one. It has powerful and important goddesses. There's the forest mother and giver of fruits who makes things grow, and the gentle goddess with the power to heal all hurts. Uh, all I'm trying to say is that it can be good to read things that are different. I think it would be worth it to step outside your comfort zone a little. You might learn all ab about all sorts of magic and monsters and heroes that you never thought were possible. If I read your book, would you give Left Hand of Darkness another shot? All right. If it means that much to you, deal. Woohoo! And you got the Logician's Shield. Even infallible debaters must be prepared for a foe to resort to ad hominem attacks, e.g. punching. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Mm-hmm. It's simple in a good way. Though, right now, I'm just ready to drop. I'm just wondering how many more clubs will we have to beat? I think we have we've to only, run the entire gauntlet. We've only gauntlet. faced one. Okay, so, maybe we don't have to fight radical ba bakers. Uh, my uh, assumption is there's six... Oh, well, that's the thing, too. If everyone's being eliminated in a particular way, it means... I don't know if there's I did, one I or did two see a tournament bracket thing. Right, so it's likely that we're only going to be fighting half of the possible clubs. Yeah. At the same time... Uh, not even half. If each character has six upgrade slots, my assumption is there's going to be six, like, kind of chapter chapters, and then probably a final chapter or well, something like that. Well, we've met the Equestrian Club, the Historical Club. Obviously, we're yep. going to be facing the Psychics. Eight chapters in the game. I was right. Yeah, the beginning one, then six kind of regular chapters, and then the final one. I like how there's going to be some friendship points and extra side quests in between yeah. the major tournaments. It's super charming. Mm -hmm. I just need to play this one. I'm not dead tired, but also I've been streaming for 10 hours straight. <laughs> okay. 